What's up guys? Uh, welcome to my channel. I know what you're thinking. Who the heck is this guy? Uh, my name is Jacob. I also go by Introspective FPV. I'm a newer drone pilot, but uh, I'm fully committed to making drone my full-time gig. And so this channel is about how I go from being a grocery store clerk, which I've been in the grocery business for 13 years now, to full doing drones full-time. And I'm going to document how I do it, anything I learn along the way, uh, trial and error, and then bestow anything I can to you guys. So I currently own a DJI Phantom 3 Pro, and I just did my first video shoot assist last week. And there was a director, it was a local musician at a basketball court, and I was there to do the drone shots. And Three things stood out to me that uh, I should, or the three things stood out to me that were a little nuanced. I didn't quite uh, realize were a thing until after the fact. First thing I learned: arrive early and prep your gear. That sounds like no duh, no shit, but there's a saying I've heard in the entertainment industry that goes, "Hurry up and wait," and. That's kind of what it feels like. I got there early, and you know hip-hop artists, they're known for being late. This was no different. So I thought at set time, there was going to be a bunch of people there. No one was there. I was first to show up. People started trickling in, and uh, my drone batteries were fully charged. Um, I got my drone set pretty quickly, but... When they start shooting and when they need you, it's going to go from you sitting on the sidelines to the music starts and you're going in 30 seconds. And so having your gear ready and the mindset that when you're called, it's showtime, uh, doesn't just apply to people in front of the camera. And I didn't quite understand that, uh, that when you got to go, you got to go. That's something that I'm going to take in more and more and prepare myself as I do more shoots. So second thing I learned, it kind of goes back to prepping your gear. One of the benefits to showing up a little earlier is you can adjust your settings depending on the needs of the shot. So two things that caught me off guard were lighting, so which ND filter to use for that time of day. Uh, you got to pull your drone out, put filters on, hold to the light, and check where your exposure settings are. You don't want to do that when everyone's waiting for you. So do that early, do that before, and know what you need. And the second one, as far as settings go, that caught me off guard is movement. This, the area I was in was somewhat tight corners, and my stick sensitivity was way too high for what, my, for what the shots demanded. And actually, I got some examples to show right now. So check this out. So here's one of the things I could have done better. I came in, was supposed to do an orbit uh, around after I established the group, and right now I'm doing like a quarter stick movement, and it's just too much. It's jerky. My sensitivity on my stick should be way lower to make that smooth. And similar things here. I'm barely touching the stick, and the drone is just spinning around. So I think this last clip is a little better but only because the movement's less. If I had my sensitivity down to about half, I could move that further, still do more, have more room to play with, and be okay. Those things definitely um, will make a big difference in the future for when I'm doing shoots. Uh, the third thing I learned is you are also a director. So I don't think there's gonna be, it depends, but on a lot of times I think I'm gonna be there assisting someone else is doing production. So there'll be someone else with a vision, someone else that's guiding the uh, direction of the production, but you're not just the guy who shows up and you know how to move your fingers like this, or if you're a pincher like this. Uh, you're not just the stick guy. You're not just the pilot. People aren't paying you necessarily to be a pilot. They're paying you to get the shot. And the, they may have an image in their head of what they're looking for, and you have an image of how you can capture that shot, but you have to then speak to the people 
as far as timing and placement and when my drone goes up like this I need you guys to do this you have to give them the necessary info and direct them to make sure that all those pieces come together and going in I thought that I was just gonna fly like this is gonna be great I'm gonna get some good experience this is a non-paid project for me uh, I'm gonna get some experience I'm gonna get some good shots I'm just gonna show up I'm gonna buzz around and people are gonna do cool shit well the best shot of the day was the only time that I stood out of my comfort zone and told people what to do in that moment. And uh, we were reenacting a scene from The Fresh Prince, actually. And uh, let me show you exactly what we did, right? So if you remember the intro to The Fresh Prince, uh, Will Smith is on the basketball court. He bricks a shot. It bounces off the hoop and goes into this people in the crowd who get pissed off. And they come for him beat him up a little bit, toss him around, and then spin him. So that's the objective here, keeping that in frame. So checks the ball, fight ensues, and then he picks him up and spins him. But there was no placement to where to be, so it was off my target of under me. So on this next shot, I tell them the spin needs to happen on the free throw line. And I, that's all. I, that's the only uh, coordination I give them. And they fight, drop down, spin works out perfectly. The big lesson for that one was definitely, uh, you're not just the the technical guy that moves his thumbs to get the shot. You have to be able to do that, but you also have to put people in the right place and work together and communicate properly as a, as a director to uh, really make the, the everything flow. So uh, that's something that I have, I have to work on being a good pilot already, which I'm nowhere near where I want to be or should be to get the shots I want, but I also now really need to work on my communication skills. So uh, being able to stand in front of a crowd and they're just staring at me, which always makes me feel like, ooh, get the butterflies, uh, and be able to be able to communicate effectively and get my point across and have them listen and follow in time. Uh, gotta work on that big time. So that's kind of leadership skills. So let me know if that was helpful. I hope it was. Uh, those were the three things that I learned from my first video shoot, assisting. It was pro bono, just for experience. I think that's a great way to start out, uh, is to say yes to everything until you start getting paid and you have to say no just because your schedule is so full. It's all yes. You got time. Go say yes. Go get the experience. Go shoot your friends playing soccer, your friends playing disc golf, your, friend, uh, your friends' friends riding BMX bikes, whatever it is. Just go fly in nature and just imagine that you're getting paid by Nat Geo to get shots. Like, it's just say yes till you have to say no. So that's the mentality I'm trying. And, uh, yeah, I'm curious how it's going to progress because right now is August 16th, 2019. And I, I feel like there's some exciting times ahead. So hopefully... You'll get to witness this with me and be a part of this as well because this industry is only just beginning. All right, that's my first video. My name's Jake, a.k.a. Introspective FPV, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Add me on all the social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and, of course, YouTube. Peace.